So I wrote a few notes down um, just about the GoPro in general uh, as compared to regular video cameras. It's an action camera. It has uh, pretty good image qualities, 1080p. Uh, this one is uh, has good image st stabilization so when you're moving a lot and bouncing around the, the video doesn't look shaky uh, which is something we were looking for is to, an easy way to get good quality looking videos and it has this nice waterproof case that I think in the box says it goes to 131 feet so that's better than a lot of the other um, brands that in the at least I'm pretty sure it's better than the Sony action camera that we were looking at um, by a good good amount. Uh, GoPro has been around for a little while. Um, this is the Hero 3. I think there was just the GoPro originally. Uh, that was made for some guy who was a surfer. He, I think he was the one who came up with the idea. And so they've been able to perfect their product a little bit. It's one of the reasons we decided to go with the GoPro is that we felt like they had been doing it for a while so that, um, they've been able to perfect their product um, better than some of their other competitors. Uh, they have good, according to sources that we've researched, they have a good software, video editing software that comes, you can get to use with the camera. They have an app that you can use. The GoPro apparently creates its own Wi-Fi, which I thought was really cool. And you can use your smartphone to look at videos you've taken um, wherever you are, whether you have, you're have in your house or out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so it doesn't have a screen like a lot of, like your phone or a lot of cameras have where you can look at the video you've taken while you're taking it or right after on the camera itself. But with the app, it uh, seems like you should be able to uh, review your video uh, pretty quickly after you take you've taken it. Um, there's one thing we were looking for in a camera was something easy to use, and uh, that we could process the video and get it online quickly. And that's what we're hoping for with this. Um, it should be pretty durable. It's an action camera, and um, from the reviews, they seem to have a good reputation. Um, and one thing to remember is that this does not come with an SD card and you need a pretty good micro SD card actually, it doesn't take a regular SD card and you need a class 10 SD card, I would recommend at least 16 gigabyte SD card and the person at Best Buy where we bought this I recommended I think at least 48 megabytes per second at the speed of the SD card it needs to be relatively fast and um, there were pretty good prices on Amazon for SD cards They've uh, definitely gone down a lot in the last few years in price. And uh, we're, we're pretty excited for this. We're not like big action people. Um, like we don't surf or do mountain biking or anything. But we're hoping that um, there's a few other things that we do do, do like uh, some canoeing and things like that where we don't want to take a camera. We did that some this past summer. It would have been nice to have one of these. Um, we, I think we could have gotten some good shots, um, but overall it's a dur durable camera that can go wherever you go, take good quality picture, and uh, not look shaky. And so that's and the software hopefully is easy to use. So that's one of some of the main things we're looking looking for. And so if you're looking for those things, you can go ahead and get it. Um, we're really looking forward to using it. And uh, if you have any more. Um, questions you can there's lots of resources out there and um, so thank you uh, let's do recording hello hello this is Forrest here from Quartz Condensed with the GoPro Hero 3 whites that we recently purchased and I'm just go going to unbox it and explain a little bit about why we got this as opposed to other cameras um, for this might be helpful to some of you during this holiday season trying to decide uh, between different cameras and things for gifts and for yourself even so um, right now this goes for about three hundred dollars on Amazon and I think that's what we've paid for it so. oh, or we paid $1.99 um, at Best Buy, which I think they do some price matching, so you can look into that. 
Um, there are these stickers on the sides that were pretty sticky and pretty tough to get off, but I already got that off, so it kind of slides right off. Um, a little bit closer, let me so you can visualize this. It's in a little glass case. There has the waterproof case on the camera as well. Here, so let me open this. Okay. Case comes off. Here's the camera. Attach the lid of the box. Okay. As let's see. Let's see what's in here. Quick start guide. Stickers. User manual. Warranty, usual stuff. Let's see what's taking up the bulk of this box here. Battery, I believe. Yeah. A uh, case with an open back so you can get better audio and you don't have to be in waterproof situations. And I think it's just some basic attachment stuff. Just a little adhesive clips or something. So. USB to micro USB charging cable. The GoPro brand name on it. So you know which device it goes to. It's kind of helpful sometimes. And that's it. So, um, I think there's some instructions here about how to remove this from the case. There's a little diagram right here. I'm supposed to push in these two sides. Okay. I think this doesn't really go with anything in particular as far as I can tell. Uh, so here's the uh, some little piece of plastic right here that says remove. I'll try and get that out. Hmm. Let's see, maybe I'll figure that out later. I don't want to break anything <laughs> that I might actually need later, but I assume I take that off. So, um, here's the camera up a little bit closer. It's the top. I think maybe that comes off. The size, I think there's a USB port right there. I have some computers behind me reflecting a little bit. Alright. Alright. Real quick, um, so I just figured out how to take the case off. Um, pop this top part up here, opens up.
how the case itself looks. It's the camera itself, power buttons. Um, let's see right here. I'm gonna put the case down. Okay, that just popped right off there. Alright, put that back on. It's the back. Battery goes there. Um, right there. So this micro SD card goes. Alright. Just a little bit. Oh, close up there on the camera, and it's 